Well, Ibrahim Abdullahi is a National Assistant Secretary of the Mieti Ala Cattle Breeders Association. Uh, thank you for coming on Sunrise Daily this morning. Thank, thank you. you. Good morning, Nigerians. What's your reading, quickly? What's your reading of what is going on in Southern Kaduna? Well, um, it's unfortunate because uh, I was born and brought up in that area. I grew up to see people that were peaceful, people that were hospitable people that were really ready to live with everybody. And all of a sudden, things started changing, and maybe everybody thought it is going to come into past, and it started persisting, and we started asking ourselves, what is the problem? Uh, you would recall that we started experiencing crisis in southern Kaduna since uh, 1987, sometimes at seven, when the Kafanchan, Kafanchan crisis started at the College of Education. Uh, that was followed by a series of uh, crises up to 2000 when there was this, uh, you know, Sharia crisis, so to say, and up to 2011 when there was um, post-election violence. You know, in all these crises, we have managed to find a lasting solution to the, uh, to the issues. We have found it successfully sitting down with our neighbors, the communities in southern Kaduna, and reconcile. But then after the 2011 uh, post-election violence, we made efforts. A lot of efforts were made by all people in southern Kaduna. The leaders, the religious leaders, the traditional institutions, the, some of the politicians, we all sat down and decided that, look, uh, let us bury the hatchet, let us forget the past, let us forgive one another, because that is the type of Southern Kaduna that we inherited from our parents, a peaceful, loving, and caring Southern Kaduna. But we even got to the point of signing MOUs, peace agreements, and so on. But the attacks persisted and we started asking ourselves are we really sincere with this uh, reconciliation or is there something that was wrong which we could not uh, comprehend and we started and it was the time of uh, late governor Patrick Ibrahim Yakua. I could remember he called me personally and said Ibrahim I am from that area you are also from that area what do we do about this crisis now you are saying that you know you, you've traced you've made this hit you know, historical background, given this historical background of crisis in southern Kaduna. But if you move forward, I yeah. mean, down to 2011, yeah. you know, the election mm -hmm. violence, do you yeah. think that the current crisis right now has its roots in the 2011 election violence? Yeah, of course, there is correlation. And uh, maybe our people have failed to learn the lessons of 2011. And some of the lessons were that um, the crisis happened during the movement, the seasonal movement of pastoralists. Uh, from the western part of the country to the eastern part of the country or from the southern part of the country to the north. You know, April when they were returning. Uh, there were four major stock routes, four international stock routes, so to say, uh, that passed through southern Kaduna. And these stock routes, during the seasonal movement, witnessed a lot of pastoralists moving from our neighboring states, from our neighboring countries, either returning to their base, bases, or if it, is, uh, during, uh, if it is around November, December, moving for greener pastures to the, west, northern, I mean, to the western part of the country. You know, the 2011 post-election violence happened during that time when these people were returning to their various destinations, and they were affected. We've had the governor give this, reason, uh, give this reason, yeah, and we've also had the response of some members of the Southern Kaduna People's Union. Yeah, according to them, they say that he's trying to justify the killings. Yeah. Uh, that you know, that's what they say. I mean, that that's he's he's trying to justify the killings. Have you seen their reaction, and what do you make of? I it? have seen their reaction, yeah. and I would say it is unfortunate because uh, the issue, this issue, was not started by Governor Malam Nasir El Rufai, it was started by one of their own, Patrick Ibrahim Yakoa, because he felt concern. He felt that as a governor, for the first time, 
that region was able to produce a governor who was accepted by all. And he felt a sense of responsibility that uh, he can't rule and then while his area where he was born is burning. So he took it upon himself and formed a committee of three people. Himself, as the chairman of the committee, uh, another distinguished senator from that area, Senator Harun Azego Aziz, as also as the member and coordinator of the committee, and I was a member of the committee. The three of us worked diligently. First of all, we had to establish that really the foreign and other neighboring pastoralists from other states were really affected during the crisis. And the challenge was how to identify them. Because by that time, some of them were back to their bases. And we started. We followed all the stock routes that passed through southern Kaduna, and we were able to trace some of those people in far places as Bamenda in the Republic of Cameroon. And we had a dialogue with them. We discussed with them. Mm. Alhaji we, Ibrahim, just, yeah. you know, quickly. In the initial, uh, you know, tracing, in the initial history that you made, yeah. it was seen that the conflict was religious. You see, the... It's from 1987. The, I, I just need a, you know, quick response to that. It, was, it would seem that it was religious. You see, well, the issue with crisis, yes. not only in southern Kaduna, but in the whole of Nigeria, is that when crisis starts, even if it is political, some people try to turn it into religious. Sometimes it is turned into ethnic, sometimes it is political. I see no relationship between religion and politics. It was presidential election. Now, the reason some I ask people this, I'm, 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 getting, I'm getting somewhere with my question. Yeah. Because from 1987, most of the crises that Kaduna has had, we would say mostly were religious, were perceived to be religious of crises. Of course, sure, yeah. So that was on, the, on one hand, and it was mostly internal. Yeah. Uh, so it was seen there was no external influence in this one. Yeah, of now, course. Now, 